cactus and suckle and grow as I'm Lynn. Welcome to Desert Plants of Avalon in the north of Ireland. And in today's video, I'm very excited because I'm going to be starting off, starting up a lot of the cacti and succulents with a light watering for the very first time after the winter. Now it's nearly the middle of April and uh, I'm very excited because I've started to see signs of lots of buds on many of the cacti already. A lot of our rebutias are coming into bud and uh, I'm just going to show you this guys before I show you all the watering. Um, buds forming and got buds on this one too coming up, little pink buds and there is lots of buds coming up on many of the others as well oh my golly i'm just really 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 mega excited and um this means that these plants are need of watering because i don't want to go any longer without watering them buds on this lovely parodia as well here and uh, it is just really excited this one as well this horse tea is coming into bud and uh, I'm just mega, mega, mega happy. Now, as I've mentioned in a previous video, this is going to be the first watering that I give to the majority of these, except for the epiphytic cacti. I've had to water these and many of the succulents as well. I've been lightly watering. Majority of the cacti here have not had a drop of water since the middle of September last year, 2023. And, um, that I'm going to be watering the majority of them just a very light watering today and then I'm going to leave it for probably a week to 10 days before I give them their first proper proper watering and by that is I mean I thoroughly wet and, and give the soil a good 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 watering. The reason I'm only going to be using a light watering just enough to moisten up the soil today is that these roots have been dry all over the winter months and sometimes if you go too heavy with the watering the very first time however tempting it is especially when you see buds or they're looking very shriveled the roots may not be they need to rehydrate again and send out their little feeder roots watering too much and the soil is kept wet especially if you get a series of cold days which is very common at this time a year after after a sort of a warm few days then it can be disastrous so I've mentioned that in many other videos as well so just a light water I'm going to show you in this video a few examples of the cacti I'm going to be watering and just how much water I give them now with some of my cacti some of the ones that are in very big pots some of these I will not be watering today and that's because they are in quite large pots they're quite plump and the weather forecast is very up and down at the moment here in April. We've had some warm days and then it's gone quite chilly again. And they will be absolutely fine for another couple of weeks or so before I start them all up with the watering. However, a lot of the ones that are in the small pots, a lot of the Raybutias, the Camaceras, the Peanut Cacti, definitely all of the Apuntia Prickly Pears, they are so shriveled. And uh, many of our other smaller cacti, and uh, some of the other ones that I can clearly see need a good drink will be given a light watering today. And then I'll repeat the light watering with all the rest of them in the next week or two. And then in another couple of weeks, I give them their first proper watering. And then with the third watering then, I give them all a tomato feed. And um, the reason for that is I like to, just to get used, as I mentioned, to a bit of watering, introduce it slowly. And I like to use one of these little pump these pump sprayers, these hose locks as I call them, they have long handles and these are really, really good because if I was using the watering can and I was going over like this, you can imagine you can get hooked on all the spines and it's awkward to reach and water splashes everywhere. These are fab because you can just go directly like that. You can reach all the ones at the back that you want to water without knocking anything over. So these are very, very, very good. So first of all, I'm going to show you a few examples of watering some of the plants for the first time. This table, for example, here, I've got a lot of red bootier um, and a lot of smaller growing echinopsis. These are all in small pots. These will be absolutely fine now for me to give them a light watering. Many coming in bud, as I mentioned, and um, this is going to really kick them with the bud in as well. This one is very shriveled and very yellow. I don't know whether it's gone a bit too long, but it will plump up, I remember last time. 
and um, if they're gonna suddenly just come all into flower. So first of all, I've got the water. As I say, I haven't got any, any fertilizer in here because I don't with the first light watering I give them. Probably be the third watering I give them. And I pump it up. Good exercise for the arms. And then I'm gonna start first of all, this is the very last, all I'm going to give them just a sprinkle because that is all these need and a bit of overhead watering as well is fine with the clumping multiple clumping I avoid the overhead because I don't want water to stay too long in the between the spines but this will be absolutely fine just enough literally enough just to moisten the soil there as you can see and I did a video it may have been a couple of weeks ago about this, about just lightly moistening the soil with a couple of others I had to water. And then I will repeat this in about a week's time. The weather's sort of quite good here at the moment, lovely temperature. And I always prefer to leave it sort of later on in the afternoon before I will water. This is just enough, as you can see there's buds coming on this one here, just enough to moisture the soil. So if the roots have died back at all, then this will just help them to encourage the, to grow their feeder roots. So hopefully, not only want to share sort of watering this with you, but you'll get a few, a um, bit of an idea on how to start up your plants. Maybe many of you have started to water already, but I'm in Ireland, in Northern Ireland, and I have to wait till it really does start to get a bit warmer because the weather's so dodgy. This one, even though this is desperate for good drink, I'm still only giving it, giving it a light water because, again, watering this too much too deep could also encourage it to um, to make the roots rot back. So no, pump up. Loving these pumping up sprays. They do make your arms ache a bit, but it's great exercise. And I've got Hansi filming at the moment, my wonderful partner. So I've got my hands free, which is absolutely fab because it means he can film while I can water. <laughs> so I'm going to show you an example with this on this table here with these buttes. Just enough to set them off. And this will be enough, believe it or not, you will notice the difference with a bit of a light, light water. I'm looking forward to when I can give them a really good deep watering and I can start feeding them again. I find with a lot of the cacti, like the Rebutias and that, they will still send out buds anyway. And I use the tomato feed at half the strength throughout the summer. And that also set, helps to set the buds for the following spring as well. So now I'm on the prickly pear table and these are very desperate for a drink. I wanted to water these a couple of weeks ago, but we had a lot of strong winds and then it went really cold and it just wasn't practical. So these are going to need, again, even though they need a very, very good drink, I'm going to start them off lightly and then give them a good water in a few days time. This one you can see when these, uh, this is a Pontia subulata monstrosa. They go a little bit pale when they need uh, a good drink. So I'm just going to start this off a little bit with this. And then these here, again the same. So I'm probably going to do this with the majority of my cacti, except for the ones, as I mentioned, that are in the very large pots. And that's because they will take a lot longer to dry out than these. So if we do happen to get some coldish weather, which is not unusual in April, as I say, it's up and down, then it does mean that um, they're not going to be sitting in wet soil for long. These are the small pots will dry out in a, in a day or two. Tephrocactus, Tephrocactus. And you know, it's just so therapeutic to get water in. Now here I am with a lot of the Camacerus and uh, 
some of the other types as well echinocerius and that and this is our echinocerius gentry as you can see those buds clearly forming on their lovely sort of pink buds developing so although this isn't shriveled i'm going to give this a light watering as well and all of our camoceras at the back are all starting to also come into bud as well so i'm going to give these a bit of their first light watering as well so um first of all <laughs> i don't know whether Hans is doing a great job there with the camera, so it might be a bit difficult to see, but I'm just going to show you one of my um, Labivia Camaceras is there. Just a bit of a light watering. Again, it's lovely red boot here. Just enough to moisten up the soil. This one as well. It's starting to come into bud. Let's try again. give you an idea guys if you're watering up your cacti for the first time that's just the amount I give them for starters and then I'm going to carry on with all of, it, all of this now we'll do the rest of them and I uh, just want to mention that these ones in the on this here they're very large ones I'm going to be holding back off giving them their first watering as I mentioned for another week or two just until probably the, the, the third week, fourth week, end of April until I know that the weather is really safe because they're in big pots, are going to take longer to dry out. These will be no problem at all here. And as I say, these are always the ones that are first to come into bud for me as well. This is my lovely Rebutia perplexa. And I'm hoping this blooms this year because it hasn't bloomed the past few years, but I think it's going to love the light in this polytunnel. days. I'm going to leave all the loffer for us for um, probably the next time for another couple of weeks. As I say, all these Rebutias varieties will be fine. That's also coming into bud as well. I'm here. Happy days. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you haven't done already, then do please subscribe and click that notification bell. You can also follow me on Insta, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And for more growing tips, do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to wish you all a fantastic cactus-powered watering day.